So the time is the 1700s in Seville, and the main characters are Figaro Rosina, the Count Bartolo Basilio, and Berta. Act one begins with the Count disguised as a poor student, Lindoro, wanting to woo Rosina without the glamour of his wealth and fame. Which so far is not going too well because Rosina is the word of Bartolo, who plans to marry her when she's of age, which I'm sure there's a word for that. Meanwhile, Figaro arrives in a subtle and humble manner. Just kidding, he sings Largo. And the Count asks for his help. Eh, I don't know. I literally have lots and lots of money. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. So Figaro tells the Count to pretend to be a drunken soldier and barge into Bartolo's house and demand to stay there because Spain famously did not write the Third Amendment to the American Constitution. Then Rosina sings her famous aria, Una Voce Poco Fa, which basically is saying, I'm pretty and nice, but I'm also kind of a bitch. And honestly, I salute her for it. She gives you her full brand from the get-go. What a queen. Bartolo is then told by his music teacher, Basilio, that the Count is coming for his woman, and Bartolo's like, what should I do? Do what any middle schooler would do. Make up a lie about him and tell everyone! And what rumor is it that he spreads? He doesn't. Opera's kind of bad about this sometimes. It was honestly just an excuse to give Basilio an aria. So the drunken soldier, Count, walks in. Foot first. And Bartolo tells him that he has an official exemption from housing soldiers, and the Count says, <laughs> Gosh, there, I'm too drunk to read. He then proceeds to attempt to throw hands with Bartolo. It's at this point I should probably tell you there's like a lot of subtle note passing and plan exchanging in this scene, but like if I described all that, this video would take like half an hour, so watch the show, buy a ticket. The decimal levels of this fight draw the attention of everyone in town, and eventually the house is swarmed by officers. And as they are about to arrest the Count, he pulls the head officer to the side and says, Hey, buddy, here's a secret. So between you and me, I own you. And the cops back off. Act two begins, and the Count barges into Bartolo's house. Yet again. This time disguised as a substitute music teacher for Basilio named Don Alonso. He gives Rosina a singing lesson and Figaro arrives and shaves Bartolo. Oh, but also Figaro's a barber. There you go, there's the title. At that moment, Basilio arrives and the Count's like, hey, here's hundred dollars, will you please pretend to be sick and get the hell out of here? I would have done it for 50. And Basilio leaves. Bartolo then realizes that this is a ruse and yells at them until they all leave. And what I just described to you is a 10 minute quintet. Isn't opera so lovely and extra? After this chaos, the maid Berta arrives on the scene to sing about how crazy this household is and then proceeds to cash the easiest check in opera. Bartolo then demands that he and Rosina wed at that very moment and and yes, audience, she is still underage, but we do not have time to unpack that. But before they can get married, the Count reveals his identity to Rosina and convinces the notary to marry them before Bartolo gets to them, adding yet another point to the Bartolo getting absolutely dunked on scoreboard. Bartolo, just discovering this, is devastated until Rosina's like, hey, do you want my dowry? Yes, I would like your dowry. And all's well that ends well except for Berta, who has to clean this entire house at least five times a day and has no 401k because they didn't exist yet. If you want to see it for yourself, check out Cincinnati Opera's stunning production of The Barber of Seville on July 6th and 8th. Get your tickets today.